Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to another stout review. Putting a bow on Bourbon County Week. Did we save the best for last? From everything I've seen, read, and heard, this was the best uh, iteration of Bourbon County this year. So um, this is from Goose Island, Chicago, Illinois. Bourbon County, two-year cask finish. Uh, this is finished in Angel's Envy casks and another cool little packaging from our friends at Goose Island. Uh, truth be told, I am not <clears throat> the biggest Angel's Envy fan. Uh, I, maybe I just don't love finished whiskey. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just not a big fan of Angel's Envy. Um, the bottle that I have, it's just not, I don't know, it's not my favorite. But, from what everyone says, this is the best one. So, let's get into it, shall we? Finish off. Did you guys enjoy Bourbon County Week? Mucking it up. Giving Goose Island a little bit of a hard time. It's all in good fun. It's just beer. Uh, let's see here. Collaboration with our friends at Angel's Envy. Uh, it says, stout aged in Angel's Envy bourbon barrels and finished in Ruby Port wine barrels. So, apparently, I think it was a year and a, what does it say? It doesn't matter. Well, I think it was a year in one of the barrels and then they finished it in a, a year in the other one. So two years total. It says 2023 vintage. 15.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Is this the highest ABV one that we've had? I think it might be. Got a big, got to give uh, a big thanks to my man, Mike, for helping this, for helping this one out, for helping me out and getting this one. He sent me this with the Propitiators and the Eagle Rare Bottle. So, appreciate you, bro. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Um, so, yeah, this poured exactly like the other bottles of Bourbon County we had. It is pitch black in the glass. Pinky finger of khaki head. It's cola-ish. It's poppy. It's not. I just, I said it in the other videos, and I just don't love the looks of this beer this year for whatever reason. I, I just, I'm an idiot, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm sure people will give me a hard time about it, but it's fine. It's fine. This, uh, we'll talk about the price of this one. $34, I think, after tax. Expensive. Let's see what it smells like. This smells really good. Um, this is probably the best nose out of all of them. This has a lot of dark fruit, um, and that's probably coming. I mean, it's obviously the stout is dark fruity. I think I mentioned that in the regular uh, base beer review, but finishing it in port wine. Uh, cast, I think you're getting a lot of that fruitiness. Um, I've only had port wine a couple times, like post dinner. It was like part of a dessert thing. Um, and it's really, 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 really sweet. That sweetness definitely comes out in this nose. It's plenty fudgy though, but yeah, dark fruit dominant. There's a good amount of vanilla on this one too. A little bit of, I don't, I don't get a whole lot of like, um, char or oak from the barrel, but it might be there, but it's just, I think this is just overwhelmingly sweet and dark fruity with that fudge. Um, and then a little bit of vanilla. So I think it's kind of getting in the way of if you were, if I were to be able to smell any of like the char or the wood. So let's go and taste it. Cheers. Thanks, Mike. And thanks to all of you who watched Bourbon County Week. So this immediately brings me back to the 2013 bottle of Bourbon County that we reviewed a couple weeks ago. This to me tastes like a cherry cordial. This is really good. And there is definite barrel character on the finish of that that I wasn't smelling. There is a good amount of charred oak on the finish of that. I feel like this beer's chewier too than the other ones. So much dark fruit, holy smokes. Chocolate covered cherry is what it is. It, uh, it almost comes off like a little bit jammy, which is cool. Tons of fudge. Um, I think part of what I'm my palate is perceiving as like a char might be a little bit of alcohol um, on my tongue. I mean, we're almost 16%, right? Yeah. Um, it doesn't feel like hot, uh, definite warming in my chest, but yeah, this is probably the best, um, of the bunch. 
I just, I, I've learned this stoutness that we had that I love dark fruit and stouts. Um, and this has that. And I think that's what's winning me over. I didn't realize I like dark fruits and stouts until the last couple weeks. I really, really enjoy it. You guys ever eat uh, C's candy at Christmas time? I don't know if it's like a California thing. Uh, we've always had C's candy at Christmas. Um, there are the, there's a box, they're called Nuts and Chews. And some of those have like fruit in them. And that's exactly what this is reminding me of being a kid and eating those. Good stuff. Best of the bunch. We'll leave it that. There's not much else to say. I love the dark fruit in it. Love the fudginess. I love that vanilla sweetness on the finish. This is a good one. So, uh, are you guys fans of this one? I'd have to, I'm not going to make a video of like what my, how like the order would go in, but this would be number one for sure. I think the Eagle Rare variant would probably be two, followed by Prop, and then the base beer, and then Bananas Foster. Bananas Foster and the base beer were kind of, I don't know, neck and neck to me. I don't think one was like much better than the other, but this one I think is head and shoulders better than all the rest of them. So there we go. Bourbon County week is done. We drank all the 2023 bottles except for, what did we miss out on? Shoot, was there one that we missed? We did Prop, we did Angel's Envy, we did Eagle Rare, we did Bananas Foster, we did the Base Beer. Was there another one? If there's another one, let me know. I'll keep an eye out for it. But I thought I got all of them. Maybe not. So anyways, uh, let's talk about this one if you'd like to. What do you think about the price point of these this year? I know I harped on it in the Eagle Rare video and people will probably be giving me a hard time. I mean, these videos haven't been uploaded yet. I'm sure I'm going to get a hard time talking about the price of them, but I just think we're getting to the realm of ridiculousness when it comes to some of these barrel aged stouts, but got to pay to play, I guess. Right? So that's it. I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All this shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.